you can come on in the studio now. Are you ready? <gasps> this is my husband and my business partner, Billy. You know, I have been doing art my entire life. I was born with a paintbrush in my hand. Yeah, I've been labeled as fearless when it comes to color. Queen of color, I've gotten all those little titles. I love color. To me, it sounds very corny, but color is pretty much a celebration of life to me. Is that burnt orange or is that too orange for you? Look at that. Everything inspires me. I wake up, the, the shadow of the light coming in through the window, I see pattern. I look outside, I see bamboo leaves, and I see the dance of the leaves. That inspires me. Butternut squash soup right there. This rug that's here is called Swim. I was snorkeling one day, and if you've ever seen a parrotfish, colors that you don't even think can exist in nature are all on one fish. So basically, these to me are the scales of a parrotfish. All these colors just make a person happy. So when I'm designing a rug, I pull out the colors, and it'll be a beautiful rug. <laughs> Actually, this is the funnest part of the job, right here. So I grew up around rugs. My grandfather was considered a renowned authority on oriental rugs. It's my grandfather, Marcus Shishian, and they actually started an oriental rug business on the island of Corfu. So my grandfather eventually landed in Washington, D.C., and he started his business, or continued his business, which was Mark Kishishin and Sons. They've been providing rugs to the White House throughout many different administrations. This is something my grandfather said, free vinegar is sweeter than store-bought honey. I started my commercial arts and I became an art director for a local fashion magazine. I believe I was 23 or 24. Since then, I continued to do graphics and magazines for a long time, but I wanted to move on and started doing surface design. And I was in New York one time. We walked by a rug store and I was pointing out the rug store and I said, you know, I, my grandfam, my family has been in the rug business for generations. And she stopped on the street and she said, that's it, rugs. I said, what? She goes, you could design rugs. And I thought, I mean, literally I got dizzy. I was a little weak in the knees. I was a little shaky, like fireworks were going off in my brain. And I thought, oh my God, that's it. We walked into the store and just the smell of the wool, it was a little overwhelming. It was sort of like, oh my God, my whole, past and my history and my family all just came like this big wave over me and I felt like I was home. It's uh, just got a beautiful sheen. It's like petting an animal almost. The learning curve was really steep going into the rugs, but that was what was so exciting for me was learning how to translate the pattern into a new process instead of printing into the carpets and the handmade aspect of it. Light reflecting off of paper is different than light reflecting off of wool. So little things like that make a big difference in terms of how that process is going to go all the way through. So here is a lot of work that eventually may become a rug or not. I do find that when people are looking through a book, it's about color. Everybody responds to color first. It's very visceral. Everybody has an emotional reaction to color, whether they know it or not. So if they're going through a book, they'll say, oh, I want this blue one. Oh, I like this blue one. Obviously, they're looking for blue, and I have to say, Oh, but this pattern seems to fit your description. I can make this blue. So that just shows you that's a three different colorways for the same pattern. We did a collection called, I called it the Smoke Collection. She had a very particular palette. So she picked some designs she liked in my book, and then I had to make them all work cohesively together. So that became a collection. They were all different designs, but her palette was very strong in charcoals and smokes and some soft pearl gray with a hit of red. Very dramatic house. So, you know, four different rooms in the house, four different carpets by me, but all the same color palette, different designs. Well, everybody has a visceral response to color, and that's part of it too. And literally, I, my closet's organized by color. I get up and I, I sort of have a vision of a color that day, and that's what I wear. So we'll just cut it, we'll just, cut. it's a wrap right there.